Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable tethering and mobile hotspot. So go ahead and come into the settings and we're going to come over to our connections tab and tap on mobile hotspot and tethering. Now this is something that's going to be specific to your cellular plan that you have with your mobile provider. So if you don't have tethering enabled or hotspot enabled, this is not something that you're going to be able to do until you've added that onto your cellular plan. Now if it's already enabled and you have it ready to go, here's how we're going to set it up. So USB tethering is going to allow me to connect my USB cable that I use for charging to plug it into my computer and use my device's mobile cellular data that way. So this is useful if I'm out of Wi-Fi range, maybe I'm on the road and I need to shoot off an email or download a quick file attachment for work, I can do so with the convenience of using my phone's mobile data. Now mobile hotspot is going to come into play when you need to connect more than one device. Mobile hotspot allows me to connect up to 10 devices using my device's mobile data. Now keep in mind, if you're using your laptop to watch YouTube videos and download file attachments and trying to play games over a mobile connection, you're going to burn through your data so fast and you're going to end up with a lot of overage charges based upon trying to connect 10 devices up to this. So I only use this sparingly, but you can use it however you want to. If you have a data plan that has unlimited and you have mobile hotspot, go ahead. Download away. But if you're on an actual tiered data plan, I would use this sparingly and only when you need to, as you can actually run into overage fees really quickly by using this from your computer. Now, setting up the mobile hotspot is very easy. Tap on the more, and we're going to configure mobile hotspot. Here, I can change my network name. I can swipe down here, security. I can change the password. And I can show the password, and I even have advanced options. Now, advanced options allow me to broadcast in a 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz, and I can even choose auto, and I can choose the frequency that those are going to broadcast at. 5 gigahertz is going to be for those devices that have N, 802.11N or higher, and 2.4 is going to be anything below 802.11N. So if your device has 5 gigahertz enabled, go ahead and enable that, and it's going to give you a little bit of a faster connection. But for most devices, 2.4 is going to be a really good configuration and good support. So once you have all this set up, tap Save, and then just tap On. And now when it your device broadcast that signal anyone that sees your name and it can enter in the password can connect but again only at 10 devices now if you're more on the tech side and you want to try and do advanced filtering tap on more and tap on allow devices here you can add devices by their name and then mac address so this again is more of a technical advanced option here so for most people just setting up the network name and password is going to be okay you're going to be perfectly fine but if you want to get into device filtering, you can enter in device names and MAC addresses here. And then come back out and see where it says daily app show. If we tap there, I can do allowed devices only. This is going to require them to still have the password, but then it's also going to filter on another level where it's only going to allow those devices that I've added the MAC addresses into. But for, again, most people, allow all devices, come into the more options, configure mobile hotspot, change your network name, and change your password, and that should cover most people. The actual filtering and allowing devices is gonna be more of an advanced option. And then there is the timeout settings. This is going to automatically disable mobile hotspot if there are no connected devices. I can choose from never timeout, from five minutes, all the way up to 60 minutes. And this is going to be useful because if, say, if devices aren't connected to the hotspot for more than 10 minutes, it's going to shut it off, saving some of my battery life, and it's going to help me out. Never time out. That's always going to keep mobile hotspot on until you toggle it off yourself. So we'll go ahead and set up those settings however you'd like to, and when you're ready to, just tap on. It's going to set up your mobile hotspot, and you can have all your devices connect to it. So that is how you enable and manage your tethering and mobile hotspot on your Samsung Galaxy S6.